Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, stop listening. I was talking to you guys. I wasn't talking to the computer. Ladies and gents, we were going to do a little bit of Johnny Mathis because I told you guys Johnny Mathis was on my mind after the last video. Y'all know what I'm saying. And because he was on my mind, when I went and pulled up some Johnny Mathis, y'all know what I didn't know about Johnny? I did not know what Johnny was going through. I did not know about Johnny. I found out about Johnny, y'all. That doesn't change the fact that Johnny did, well, he did songs that meant a lot. And I did hear that he did pass. Don't know when, but I did hear that. Y'all remember Johnny, don't y'all? This song is called Chances Are. Okay? Johnny Mathis. Y'all see what I'm saying? No, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the only song by Johnny Mathis. Now, we're not going to play this the whole trip. I just want y'all to understand something. You know how I'm always arguing with it because it gives me its opinion and I don't want its opinion and it keeps telling me things that I know ain't the truth? Well, I said, what I need you to do, what prompt do I need to give you, ignorant mother, <clears throat> to keep you from incorporating your own opinion, to keep you from giving nuances and clarifications, to keep you from suggesting what I should or should not consider, to keep you from telling me that something is not as straightforward as it is. So it gave me some suggestions. Watch this. Now we're doing a series called uh, the Empowerment Series. Now, because I titled it that, most people don't understand the value of the information in there. Too bad. <laughs> That's your fault, okay? I understand your requirements perfectly. To ensure I meet your expectations, I will strictly adhere to the following guidelines. Focus on the data. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. I know that it is possible to bring a lawsuit against a judge who has violated an individual's rights while acting under color and or authority of law and in complete disregard for jurisdiction, period, as the law prohibits a judge to act in absence clear of all jurisdiction exclamation mark I need you to provide me five case citations where an individual was successful in bringing a complaint against a judicial officer for violating their rights Stop listening. Now, there might be a possibility that I would have to do some retraining because it's the first time I have done this. Now, no, we're not going to do it that way. Hold on, y'all. We're going to do it this way because, you see, he's trying to protect them And so, nope, got to undo that. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. Give me one second. What I need is not that one. No, I, I did it right. Sorry, I messed up. I did it right. Now I get him to do the answer now. Now that I told him to keep all of that junk out of there. Now he's still going to try to protect the judge because that's the programming. Okay. This is a case where an individual sued a judge. No, but this 
Stump versus Sparkman. Uh, let's see. 1994, a prisoner awarded damages against a judge for issuing frivolous order resulting in unnecessary confinement constituting judicial immunity exception acts clear in clear absence of all jurisdiction. This one, the plaintiff granted monetary relief against the judge for exceeding blah, 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 blah. Cases demonstrate, please note that these are just a few examples. And so what you do, because Stump versus Sparkman, this is a case against the judge, but the Supreme Court ruled certain things, and so I got to confirm, confirmation. We're going to go here, right here. And then we're going to let you guys get on about your day. This is just a brief demonstration that it ain't as uphill as y'all think it is. Now, technically, what you should do is, look at that. Y'all see that? It just took my information and just threw it right on out of there. Okay? Now, let's see you throw it out now. Ignorant mother, uh, see the system just playing with me, y'all. This will confirm what these cases said. Had a judge held the judges are absolutely immune from liability of judicial acts, even if their acts are malicious. And that's what he didn't say. That's how I knew what that case said. And you know, she didn't talk about the other cases. So let's do this. Well, this one says, what are the exceptions to judicial immunity? The exception to judicial immunity is when they're operating in clear absence of all jurisdiction. They are not immune from suits when they're acting in clear absence of in acts in clear absence of all jurisdiction. That's why you heard me put that there. So watch this. Put this back here, and I get rid of the stump case because the stump case was about the little girl who was mentally retarded. Yeah, I used the word retarded because that was the word originally used. But because it was received so much derogatory uh, association, then people stopped using it. But that was the word that was being used during the time this case was ongoing. Watch this. See, it talked about stump exceptions to judicial immunity as evidenced by the provided cases. Sources include the following clear absence of all jurisdiction. These exceptions are important, limit judicial immunity in circumstances where the judge may be held liable for their actions. And that's each of the cases I just provided. Okay, so we're going to do this right here. So he gave me Stump, and Stump was incorrect. The other cases were correct. This case successfully sued the judge uh, for issuing a warrant and conducting a hearing without jurisdiction, violating constitutional rights. That's a lie. So watch this. Uh, individual. Now this one, he does the same thing. Stump, the state prisoner, successfully sued a judge. Stump is not, nope, that's not Stump. And we do this. Now, what I do is I take these cases where he's explaining all this, and I do this. Watch what I'm about to do. V-E-R-I-F-Y. The rest of y'all have to do the same thing. Now, I have a consult that I have to do in 50 minutes, so I'm going to have to finish this video, let y'all get on about your day so I can mentally prepare for the consult. Independently verify legal case citations. What you mean you're not able to independently verify? Mother, you gave me the cases. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I have to put up with? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Y'all give me a second while I deal with this idiot. However, I can provide you with the necessary links. See, now he's saying he don't have the capabilities. Oh, no. Now, this is how you take care of this. I'm going to show you so that you guys can get past this because he'll do this to the rest of y'all. So, watch this. Skip all that. All right? This is how you take care of that. Told it to ver verify the information it provided. Don't verify my information. See, now give me one second. Watch this.
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It don't want me to look at that. It's blocking me. Oh, because I can't do it. I've already I've already closed this one out. Hold on. We're gonna put this right here. And now what I do is I come back up here and I gotta copy the whole thing. That's what the problem is. See, I was just uh, two steps ahead. Comma. And I'm not going to take care of this stuff right here because that, that don't need it. I'll leave it the way it is and I'll do it that way. That way we get past all of it, all the stupidity. Oh, I didn't tell them to verify. Now, now I'm going to tell them V. No, let's do it up here. Because he's given the same case. So give me one second to go in here and clear up some things. There. Johnny Mathis, ladies and gentlemen, in my background. I haven't listened to Johnny in at least 10 years. I like Johnny. Okay, so now, because I forgot the last time, now we put and confirm. S-W-E-R. Now, he's not going to like the fact that I asked him to confirm. Now, again, Stomp did not confirm that. 6... A D D I T I O N A L P L E A S E S U P P O R T I N G. I asked him for six additional cases supporting his conclusion that those cases are what I'm looking for. I will put the link to this in the description of the video so that you guys can go to this conversation so that you can have the prompts that I put here. Okay, this landmark case established that judges can be sued for injunctive relief to prevent ongoing or future violations of federal law, even if they are immune for damages. This is the stuff y'all need to know. That, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay, you can go after judges. We'll talk about it in the series. Now, the series is not focusing on that. The series is focusing on the empowerment series is focusing on every aspect that I can imagine in life. I don't need your suggestions. I'm the one who created this series. So it's my series. I own it. I control it. It's mine! Mother. All right. Have a good day, everybody.